I see... I see... I see trees, I see bushes, I see these triumphs of nature taken from their normal places and placed onto this campus surrounding these concrete horrors. I see these concrete horrors. I see these supposed triumphs of humanity and I'm... I'm impressed somewhat, but at the same time, what is this all... What is this all for? I see posters. I see posters for films. I... I realize that I'm going to school here and going to school at this place. I'm going to school at UNCSA. I'm here to make films, but I don't... I haven't... I haven't made any. I see pine needles. I see them strewn across the floor. I see mulch. I see this disarray of mulch around me. I see rocks with handprints on them. I see old abandoned cafes. I see residence halls also abandoned. I see posters for films that I never actually got a chance to watch, and I don't know how to watch. I see... I see a volleyball court empty. I rarely see anyone playing on it, if at all, ever. Maybe, maybe at the beginning of the semester, but never again. I see cones, traffic cones, guarding nothing. Just there... They're just there to be there, sectioning off our lives. I see... I see a large antenna that I'm not sure if it does anything at all. I see trees. I see trees. I love trees. A person just walked by. I don't know them and I never will. I could be a friend to them, but probably never will because of my own mental faculties not being able to approach people properly. I see another person come by and see two clay pots, two clay pots sitting on cement. I see stairs leading to nowhere. I see... I see the sky. It's blue. Clouds are sparse. I see grass. I can't tell if it's different colors because of the way the light shines on it or it truly is a deeper shade of green, but then what is the difference between that if my perception of it is in fact what makes it for me? I see fire hydrants, red, it's chilling, sitting there. I look around me, I see beauty, I see these supposed triumphs of humanity, these gray brick buildings, and I don't particularly know how to feel. I look at the sky. It's blue. The clouds are sparse. I feel strange. I feel like this is all too much sometimes. The constant stress of school, this constant stress of feeling like I don't have a place in this world, the constant stress that I'm letting people down. It all just compounds into this never-ending cycle of me walking, exercising, and then and trying to eliminate the stress. I feel like I'm spending so much time eliminating the stress from my life that I'm not enjoying my life. I feel like what small moments I have with friends are the only dopamine I truly get. I feel like my dopamine receptors in my brain have just been fried by this never-ending, never-ceasing string of constant information being thrown at me. I feel like I can't truly be happy sometimes. Because what is happiness? And what am I? I feel... I feel afraid all the time. We don't really know what it's like to die. I think someone, someone's calling my name. I don't know what it's like to die. None of us know what it's like to die. It's not exactly, it's not exactly something we like to think about, but it's an inevitability. People try to say, find comfort in that inevitability or that inevitability is far away, but what's the point in finding comfort in it? What's the point of accepting that it's far away? What's the point of anything thinking we're all just gonna die? I'm in a world surrounded by greed, surrounded by the greed of politicians, of rich people, just doing things for their own gain. And I think those people are evil, but at the same time, what's, what's the point of worrying if we're all gonna die? If I'm gonna die, if you're gonna die, what's the point of worrying? I think there is a point I do, but there's only a point as far as this sort of human prison will take me. And I 
I don't want to constantly be thinking about this horrible stuff and making my time on this planet worse when it's already so limited. And it's such a selfish thing to say, but I have no idea what to do about that. I find myself, I find myself trying and trying to make good art, trying to be here at film school, but so many people here are more gifted than me and more into cinema or more amazing or kinder or funnier, but at the end of the day, I didn't come here because I love film. I came here because I love telling stories. <sighs> I am not a person that can be boxed into one specific thing. I don't think anyone is. And I'm trying so hard to be different that I think along the way I've lost the reason for why I would ever want to be different in the first place. And all I can think about is the next day, the next horror that's going to await me, the next time I have to be alone with my thoughts and think of all this horrible stuff. I feel trapped in my body. I feel trapped in the world. Not in a depressed way, just in a way where no matter how I express myself, no matter how I understand myself, I can never escape the fact that I'm going to suffer, I'm going to cry, I'm going to laugh, I'm going to be angry, and I'm going to die. I love my friends, I love my girlfriend, I love my family. My friends are something that I can never leave. People have shown me so much kindness since I've gotten here. People have been so nice, people have given me opportunities, people have been nice to me, people have people have treated me with the respect that I rarely have seen before I got here. But that lack of respect from before still haunts me to this day. I don't know how to open up properly anymore. I think I can, but something just doesn't feel right. I feel wrong. A lot of the time I just feel wrong. I think that's something that I can fix, something I could do, something I could fix. Maybe. Maybe you could get me out of this horrific cycle of just feeling like I'm doing something wrong. Feeling like I'm letting people down. Feeling like people are just being nice to me out of pity. But that's just not... That's just not something that I can do. I need to find inner peace before... I can make peace with those around me. And I can make peace with those who've wronged me in the past. I love everyone who I possibly can. And I'm sorry to the people who I have wronged. And I look to the sky, it's blue and the clouds are sparse.